Come on, girl. The idea is real simple. I got to get her off without without getting bit. His, oh, there she goes. There she's acting like herself. She is normally a very aggressive snake. Okay, so this snake is a grumpy girl, but she makes incredible babies. She's a pied, and we're looking for we're looking to make super tiger pies. Matt here is going to give me a hand. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, she's real tall. Well, now, if you see her head, be careful. Got a snake hook right there. Okay. Okay, ready? Oh, gotta keep an eye for her head. Oh, she's a grump. Okay, now, so Matt's new at this. But, Matt's my gym partner. He's, he's taught me how to work out at the gym. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Now, come on, girl. Where are you at? Oh, oh, there he is. Come on, girl. Come on. She's got a nice clutch of eggs. It would be nice if she. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Okay, so the idea is real simple. I got to get her off without without getting bit. And Matt's going to help me count the eggs because I only got. I only got five toes. Come on, come on, girl. She's actually being pretty tame for her. She is normally a very aggressive snake. This is a snake that's actually acting tamer than she is in real life. Come on. Usually they're really mean when they're, they're really, I say mean, but really honestly, her job is to protect the eggs. My job is to get the eggs in the safe incubator. Come on, girl, come on, come on. Come on, you want me to take you off? You want me to take you off? Huh? You want me to take you off? Oh. Oh, she's actually, I can't believe that I'm even getting half this done this easy. This is unheard of for her. Okay. One infertile. Look at this. Look at this. A tiny, we call those tiny Tim eggs. She's going to let me get the whole thing. Come on, girl. What is up with you, girl? I've had this one a long time and she's always grumpy. I don't know how in the world she's not his move. Oh, there she goes. There she's acting like herself. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. I'm gonna try to get this. I'm gonna try to get a lucky clutch. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Holy cow. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we're gonna pull a couple eggs out. But I wanna show you this. Check this out. So, the cool part is these eggs are pretty much stuck together. There's a reason for that. I'm gonna pull these couple off before I pick it up. So, python eggs, they maternally incubate them, they wrap around them. So, I take them away from her, actually does two things. It gives me an opportunity to get her back on food. Normally, they have more body weight. This one here is actually skinny. And I try to make them, I try to give them a lot of body weight before they shed. And before they have, before they get in their last, pre, we call it the last step before they start breeding. Because it takes about three months for them to get gravid. And then, then they have to make all these eggs, which takes a ton of energy. Look at that. Is that crazy? <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. So they have to make all these eggs and all that energy sucks their weight, body weight down. And then they have to sit on them for three months and that wears them out. So by the time it's done, it's six months without food, and then we have to feed them real heavy, and then a good girl will get nice and heavy. The last one we pulled actually had extra weight. Okay. So you can see she's very, very skinny. Let me go ahead. There we go. Oh. Oh. So she's literally got like zero body weight. You can see her ribs, and that's the way. That's Then she's got to go three more months without food, but because we took her off, Check that out. Because we took her off, you see, now we're gonna be able to try to get some of that weight back on her. Uh, Cause this one here definitely, definitely didn't have enough weight when we bred her. And uh, so for her, taking these eggs are almost crucial for actually the mom and the eggs. Because when we incubate the eggs, they have at least a 60% better chance. And in this case, that's, this would be 60%. If there's infertile eggs, like a bunch of these, the odds are way different. Okay, ready, Matt? 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't think we, we could try to get them in one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them apart. So I wanna get them below the level. No <laughs> lie, I thought, I almost went and got my coat because she is gnarly. So maybe the fact that it took her longer to lay than planned, she laid more eggs than planned. The, and, and because so, it can take anywhere from two to three and a half months. And I have to look at her records. So this might have been a three and a half month. So it would have been six and a half months without food if we didn't take the eggs away. And taking the way, eggs away are not really for her benefit, but in this case, probably is for her benefit. And so we will feed her about one rabbit a month uh, until she gets, until these eggs hatch. And then after that, we're gonna work at getting the weight back on her. We might go a little bit more than that with her because she's so thin. And uh, we want her to get that, we want her to be nice and heavy. Sometimes people, online start laughing at my snakes saying they're obese, but they don't know how to breed snakes, 98% of them, or they don't know where my snake is in a cycle because they don't own it, and they don't realize it's got 60, 70 eggs in it. The eggs are all spread out, and the question is, how many eggs are in this clutch? Matt, you think we can count high enough between the two of us? Let's do it. Okay, I gotta get them apart. They are really stuck together, which brings us to why are they stuck together? They're snake eggs, so most mm -hmm. snakes lay their eggs and leave them but these snakes are pythons. They're maternal like crocodiles. And crocodiles and snakes have something in common, and that's that they, uh, pythons, is because they actually protect their eggs, which is not normal for a reptile. Most reptiles lay their eggs and leave. And uh, chameleons bury them, tortoises bury them, and that's how they work. And, uh, and, and, and snakes just go in holes and, and lay them in dark holes, and then, the, and then they just hatch 30 to 60 days, depending on the kind. Uh, but pythons can take over, they can take over, over, uh, they can take over 100 days. Rock pythons are about 100 days. Uh, Burmese pythons are 60 days. Balls are 60 days. I say 60, but it's more like 56, 54 days. And then, uh, but most snakes are around 60 days. These are reticulated pythons and reticulated pythons, they hatch more in the 80, 76, depending on if they're dwarfs, super dwarfs. From super dwarfs are like 74 to 76 days. Uh, these are these are mainlands, so these will be about 82 to 86 days, depending on the temperature. We do them at 90 degrees, and uh, man, they are really more stuck together than normal. Okay, 21. Dang, I don't care. I remember that far back. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I got to be a little bit gentle because in each one of these eggs is actually a little embryo already. I told you that they take a couple months. So most of these are already about 54 to 56 days old. Uh, maybe as much as 60 if the temperature in the enclosure is lo uh, uh, low enough. It could be as many as 60 days. Did you already lose track? Huh? <laughs> let, me, let me recount. Okay, hold on. You can hold, let, me go, let me go ahead and make it less work for you. Let me get a couple more in there so I don't add too many more on there. Did you guys lose count or did you guys, are you going to have to rewind now and figure it all out? So... <laughs> But the cool part is, I'm gonna start posting videos of hatching them again. And uh, I took a break from showing the hatching videos because algorithm stuff, but you know what? We're gonna make this about you guys and what you like. And you know what? Everybody that comes to the zoo always asks me, oh, my favorite videos are the hatching eggs and the ones where the snake gets you. <laughs> Why do you guys wanna see the snake bite me? I thought you are gonna get one of those videos right now. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. That's as good as it gets. 31. So, so he says 31. What do you guys think? Were you able to count him? He's, he thinks he's got 31 as a count. I can tell you, I think there's more. And I'll tell you why when I count them. Only because I know how many fit in a box. And these aren't big eggs. So I'm pretty sure my number is going to be better than 31. You just added eggs. Huh? You're adding eggs. Oh, I thought you counted the whole <laughs> no, thing already. I thought you were saying 31 total. <laughs> I'm keeping Matt thinking. 37 absolute rocking eggs. We don't count the infertile ones, but there's a tiny Tim one. Tim, Tim is actually, Tim is in charge of breeding all these guys. And uh, so Tim's working on, what do you, what's the best, what's your most exciting clutch you're gonna make this year? Oh, I'm putting them on the spot. Sun Tiger Rainbow. Rainbow. Sun Tiger Rainbow. So that will be pretty cool. You know, we'll try to make some Sun Tiger Rainbows. So check it out. Is that cool or what? Awesome clutch. Hope to see you soon. What's your favorite kind of video? Pound the like key. Tell us what it is. 
and hit one of these boxes here right over here and check out the next video he thinks the coolest. Anyway, keep living the dream. Peace out. Thanks, Matt. Let's do it.